In this video, we're gonna be talking about 14 everyday items that can help make your travels better. I'm Tom from Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and ringing that bell icon for notifications. The great thing about the items featured in this video is that you probably have most of them at home already. Gaff tape or duct tape, for example, can be a lifesaver when you need to patch a hole in your bag and a binder clip makes an easy minimalist wallet. These hacks aren't just about traveling on a budget though. They're about traveling smarter and having a stress-free trip, which is what we're all about here at Pack Hacker. So let's dive in. We're kicking things off with one of my personal favorites, a binder clip, which I've been carrying for years, both daily and on trips. A binder clip makes an excellent minimalist travel wallet. An inch and a quarter clip holds about eight cards. You can use the binder clips just for extra credit cards and IDs or wrap cash around them to cover any sensitive information. Just make sure to put your most frequently used cards near the front so they're easily accessible. Beyond a simple wallet, binder clips also come in handy to protect the ends of disposable razors and to keep snacks closed on the plane during long flights. Velcro brand cable ties are an easy and affordable way to keep your cables in check while traveling. Just wrap one around an unruly cord to keep your tech pouches nice and clean. Despite being called cable ties, they have a bunch of other uses too. Use them as makeshift strap keepers if your bag doesn't have one, wrap them around your clothing to keep them rolled up tightly, or use them to hang up damp shoes to dry. You can even attach a colorful one to your bag so it's easier to recognize at the baggage claim or elsewhere. Duct tape is great for mending tears and keeping things together while you're on the go. If you get a hole in your bag or a tear in a mosquito net, use duct tape to patch it right up. It could also come in handy to fix a broken tray on a long bus ride so you have a place to put your snacks and essentials. Gaffer tape is also another great option and it won't leave any sticky residue like duct tape does. If you're feeling super crafty, you can even make a duct tape wallet if yours gets lost or stolen on your travels. It may not be the fanciest, but it can work well if you have nothing else to use. And here's a pro tip, wrap the tape around your pen or credit card instead of packing a whole roll which can take up a lot of space in your bag. We're always looking for ways to carry things better, whether it's through new products or household hacks. For access to exclusive deals and giveaways with top brands, make sure to check out Pack Hacker Pro. Save some cash and easily plan your next trip all in one place. The Pro community is filled with welcoming individuals who are eager to share their knowledge with you, participate in discussions, and chat directly with our team. Unlimited access to community-driven info gives you the tools you need to make every adventure better than the last. Plus, joining Pro is the best way to support us so we can keep making content to help you travel smarter. Check out the link down in the description below for more information on how to sign up, and let's get back into the items. A safety pin can come in handy for replacing broken zipper pulls on your bag or jacket in case one breaks during transit. A broken zipper can really put a damper on a trip, which is why we always look for gear that uses trusted zipper brands like YKK. That said, you never know what's gonna happen when you're out exploring and a zipper can break no matter the quality. Safety pins can also be used to replace a lost button on your shirt or pants in a pinch, at least until you can get back to your accommodation and sew it back on or head out to the shop to buy a replacement. Dental floss can be used in place of thread to sew rips and tears in clothing or your bags, and it is sturdier than you might think. Plus, if you were going to pack floss anyway, it won't take up any extra space. This makes it a great alternative to bringing a full-fledged sewing kit since it is so multifunctional. While it's most handy as makeshift thread, dental floss can also be used to tie the zippers on your bag together for added security. Just thread it through two zippers that are side by side and pull it tightly. This is convenient if your bag does not feature lockable zippers or you just don't have a lock on hand. If dental floss doesn't feel secure enough, you can also use zip ties to lock your zippers. However, if you're checking your bag, you may not wanna do that as a TSA approved lock is better in that case. But for hostels or for storing your bag, zip ties could do the trick. It may not stop a really determined thief, but it will at least make them think twice. They're also a good way to childproof cabinets, cupboards, and maybe even that mini fridge at your hotel and Airbnb if you don't want the little ones getting into them. Just secure one between two adjacent handles or knobs to make them more difficult to open. If you forget to pack a belt, you can even use a zip tie to fasten two belt loops next to one another in order to keep your pants up. As a bonus, use a zip tie as a quick and dirty key ring for your rental car if you don't wanna add it to your own keys. Hair ties have a number of uses beyond just ponytails. Use it in place of a carabiner to attach your keys to your belt loops 
or hang a hat on the outside of your bag, or wrap them around any small containers like glasses cases to keep them from opening unexpectedly in your bag. If you don't have any hair ties on hand, rubber bands also work for everything we just mentioned. We hope that you pack some extra clothing in your bag, but if not, we won't judge. Assuming that you're going to pack clothing, you might as well use it as padding to protect fragile items. We're big fans of wrapping small souvenirs in clean socks and packing them into our shoes, for example, since this method takes up no extra space. Plus, if the laptop compartment in your bag is lacking in padding, you can sandwich it between clothing bundles for some added protection instead. When it comes to flying in particular, we always recommend dressing in layers. And you can always use an extra jacket as lumbar support on the plane if you don't wanna wear it the entire time. Ziploc bags are the OG everyday item that can supplement a bunch of other expensive travel gear. They can be used in place of packing cubes, organizer pouches, snack containers, and toiletry bags. We like to use a one gallon bag as a packing cube for our clothing, while the one quart size is perfect for getting your toiletries through the TSA line. And if you've got the duct tape handy that we mentioned earlier, you can use it to reinforce the edges of a Ziploc bag to add durability. A plastic straw makes a great organizer for necklaces so they don't get tangled up in your bag. Just thread one end through the straw and clasp it closed around it. Just like that, you have organized necklaces that won't get tangled up as easily inside of your luggage while in transit. Keep an oven mitt on hand to handle hot items and prevent them from burning other stuff inside of your bag. The perfect example for this is a curling iron or flat iron if you typically travel with one. When you've gotta hit the road after curling your hair and the iron is still hot, stick it in an oven mitt before packing it up in your bag. You can also use them to safely change a hot light bulb at your accommodation in case it goes out unexpectedly. Yes, we like being prepared for just about everything when we travel. For jewelry like earrings and other small items, try packing them up inside of a pill organizer. These segmented containers are perfect for keeping track of rings, dongles, and memory cards. Plus, they are thin and lightweight, so they won't add additional bulk and weight to your bag. You can also use a pill organizer to make a travel sewing kit or hold hair ties, safety pins, and many of the other items we've mentioned in this video so far. Bead organizers can also be used, especially if you have a lot of stuff, because they're typically larger, but normally we recommend pill organizers because they're smaller. If you need something a little bit bigger with some more space, grab a simple Tupperware container you probably already have laying around at home. These can be used to organize fragile items that you don't want to get crushed. They also make a handy mini dop kit or tech kit if you don't have one already. It kind of goes without saying, but they're great for bringing your own snacks on the plane too. That way you don't have to pay for overpriced food at the airport. Since it's collapsible, it won't take up space in your bag when you're not using it either. Pack a few clothespins for those times when you need to clamp something together on your trip. Use them to pin the curtains at your hotel closed to prevent the light from peeking through when you're trying to sleep. Or close up your snacks and keep them from getting stale back at your accommodation. If you're traveling minimally and washing your clothes as you go, you can also use clothespins for their intended use to hang up your clothing to dry. This will help you save on laundry costs since you won't have to pay to use a dryer. So there you have it, 14 everyday items that will help you be prepared on your travels. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and let us know what you'd like us to cover next down in the comments below. Thanks for keeping here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We will see you in the next video.